Hi everyone, it's Jack Christensen here. So I, I'm back with another YouTube video. It's been a while. Um, I've slept on YouTube for a little bit, but I am back making videos. Um, today is going to be day of eating on a mini cup. Uh, the macros for today, this is a training day, is 200 grams of carbs, 50 grams of fats, and 250 grams of protein. The macros are lower than um, they were in prep. The uh, the calories are around about two two thousand four hundred somewhere about around that mark. So they are lower than they are on prep, which is which is kind of like it's a big drop. It's a big drop. Before I was eating, um, I was well, I was eating about four thousand five hundred calories. So there was a big drop. So the reason behind the mini cut was I was getting a little bit fat. You know, you could see it in my face. It looked like I'd been stung by a bee. Or yeah, it just, just started going like that. Which, you know, it still is a little bit like that, but it has come down a little bit. Um, also my digestion was off. Um, blood pressure was going up. Um, fitness was going down. Appetite was going down. So, um biofeedback was just literally saying stop pushing stop pushing um it wasn't really productive to, to carry on pushing um things would have only just gotten worse and i would have had a very shit time as well trying to do that so um having a mini cut it should last about four to six weeks um i'm currently actually quite deep into it um, I'm just under three weeks in um, I have lost around about around about 11 to 12 pounds already so to start the day off um, I use this as a blood pressure monitor I did have, this goes around the wrist um, I did have one that goes around the upper arm it just became too small so I invested in a wrist one your wrist aren't really gonna, your wrist isn't really gonna grow, so this should last me a while. Um, yeah. So this this is one of the health markers that we are measuring. Um, I do this daily, I do this fasted, um, and so far it has been going down. So that is the lowest it's it's been for a long, long time. Um, so I'm very happy with that. Again, it's one of the signs that what we wanted up from the mini cut is working. Hi, so um, it's around about half ten at the moment. First meal is about to go in. Now I like to, wherever I'm dieting, I like to fast for a little bit of the morning really because um, I'm not usually a hungry person in the morning a lot of people aren't so it's easy to not eat within the morning and then um, the rest of the meals seem close together um, the first meal is lovely oats lovely oats so um, I get asked quite a lot how, how I make oats um, like a lot of people on Instagram do so um, now a lot of people see how I make my oats. Yay! Um, so for today's meal, today's oatmeal meal, we are making 80 grams of oats, 80 grams on the dot. We're then adding some water in. It's a very nice and big uh, mixture bowl that I use for the oats, um, just so I can mix shit in any so it doesn't splash over because there's, there's loads of times where I've used shit little bowls and um, I've used shit little bowls and it's just ended up horrifically you know part of making good oats is the mixing so that's the amount of water I put in um, so a decent amount a decent amount and then I well, give it a little mix. And off 
we go. Whilst this is ha happening, I I brought a birthday cake. Well, I got given a birthday cake around about around about my birthday. Well, on my birthday, should I say? Got given it on the Monday, and I started dieting it on the Wednesday. So there's just half a cake here. And I just can't bring myself to throw away a triple layer party cake of white chocolate. I can't. It's heartbreaking. I have an emotional attachment to this cake. And I am just carrying around this, this cake, which is now out today, um, throughout my diet. Um, it's just on the kitchen side. It reminds me of a past life. It reminds me of a life that I used to live where I could eat cake. That life was three weeks ago. Give it a little stir. Um, there's a little thing here, it says vacuum, um, it's above my microwave, so every time I do go to this meal, it reminds me to vacuum, um, it just reminds me to vacuum, and um, I do it whilst I'm waiting for my oats. You ready? You ready? That was, that was me starting to vacuum. It's getting better. It is getting better. It's not like fully there because I'm not fully lean. Um, but I remember when I was in the off season. I, in fact, at the start of the mini cup, it it barely went down. As this has gone on, the mini cup, it's gone right down. Um, it's got a little bit deeper as well. Um, also, with practicing as well, that has helped to make it a little bit deeper. Um, say if I was on a contest prep, I would be practicing it every day like I am doing now. Um, but it should be, it should look a lot better. So that seems to be about the right amount of thickness there. Um, now I'm going to start adding the ingredients to make it lovely. 90% dark chocolate. I'm going to add 20 grams of this bad boy. Next ingredient is peanut butter. Um, I use 30 grams of this. So, oh, already, already, <laughs> oh, already, that is looking very fucking nice. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's so, oh. <clears throat> right, okay, cool. And now for the final ingredient. So this is the protein that I'm adding it in. It is cinnamon donut flavored whey by Perform. Um, recently brought this. I wanted to check it out. It's pretty decent. Mixing in. Oh, it just smells so good. And there we have fucking lovely oats here. I'm just going to try to get a good angle for you guys. Boom. Look at that. So the macros for this meal will be somewhere on the screen. So that's meal one, guys. Hello, so it is half one at the moment and um, meal two is about to be cooked. So um, I have 570 grams of chicken here already cut up and I'm adding it into the pan. Now the pan, <laughs> the pan has been unfortunately recently lost its handle so I have to use a tea towel um, to, to handle it. I will be getting a new pan, don't worry. Um, but yeah, it, it's a very pathetic excuse for a pan really. Um, so in the pan, it's been used by Mo just by to cook a steak. So um, what I do is she cooks the steak first. And I have my check-in just after. Now, what that does, very fucking loud, it's a loud sizzle. What that does is it flavours the check-in and it adds, it, it just adds a nice sort of flavour as well. 
I've sort of cut up the, uh, the chicken a little bit further with, um, with this. So um, the sizzle's gone down a little bit now. So this isn't obviously all the chicken I'm going to eat for my next meal. This is today's worth of chicken. And what I do um, is I cook it all in one go and then I'll add it into the meals that I'm going to have. That way it just saves a lot of time. I only cook once in a day instead of um, constantly cooking. Um, for me, I prefer to do it that way. I don't wait when I put it into my food. Um, it's just all weighed out beforehand. Like I will still be consuming the same amount. It's just obviously not weighed per meal. Um, and yeah, so I just usually go by eye when I add it into the portion. Um, seasoning that I'm adding is Cajun, Tesco Cajun, just a little bit. Like I said, uh, the steak beforehand will flavour this quite nicely. Ooh, I'll tell you what I have forgotten to add is the pink salt that all bodybuilders must use. Nice amount of sodium in there, bit of pepper. So the chicken that I use, I'm saying this but you might get yourself a bargain, is it is um, five kilo for 20 quid from the food warehouse. Um, that's the cheapest I can find a good amount of chicken for. It's decent chicken. Um, like I say, it's from the food warehouse. If you've got one, where you are, food warehouse is basically Iceland. If you've got one from where near where you are, it's worth a visit. Um, I bought by a lot of shit from there because I eat a lot of the same shit every day, um, so it just makes it easier. Okay, so um, add the veg into this, some peppers, mixed peppers. Mixed veg. A good good amount of veg I use um, because of the micronutrients mainly, but it also adds a good amount of satiety so it helps keep you full. Um, so veg is, veg is great for when you're dieting, but I do like to have a good amount of veg. Um, anyway, whilst this is finishing off, um, I'll add half a pack of jasmine rice into a bowl and I'll just stick it into the microwave and that's going to be that's going to be my meal. It's quite extravagant, isn't it? Chicken and rice. <laughs> Chicken and rice. It doesn't come out very nice. Though. It's all attached. Now that the rice is ready in the bowl, <laughs> it's so shit this pan is, man. It is so shit. I'm definitely going to buy another one very soon. Um, add the chicken in. Like I say, it's all cooked, it's all weighed out beforehand, so you know I will be eating the same amount every day. Um, and th this, this. These are the same meals I pretty much, well, I do eat every every single day on my training days because when I'm dieting, I really, really, really like to, to keep everything consistent uh, because it, it just, you know, there's there's no room for error or anything like that and it, it's just easier for me. I like to just have a sort of groundhog day, just nail all the variables, whether or not it's medical or an actual or an actual prep. So I have the chicken in there, plenty of chicken. Um, then I'll add a little bit of this sauce. It, this is skinny sauce, poo, poo flavor. Only a little bit, I don't drench it in this shit because it is, there's no point. And it just adds a little bit of flavor and a little bit of spice. That sounded moist. So 
So after that's just queefed out a little bit of sauce, and the meal is pretty much good to go. You know, obviously, obviously I'll just stir it in a bit. Um, yeah, just chicken and rice. The macros are here somewhere. Okay, so the time is three, three o'clock. Back again with meal three. So what we have here is chicken and veg. Chicken and veg, no carbs in this meal. Um, also a nice drink of Fanta Zero Sugar Lemon. Honestly, this is OP, so, so nice. So, so nice. Um, I found it in a corner shop that sells rare shit. It's very hard to find sugar free lemon, uh, Fanta lemon. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's nice, um, keeps me nice and full. To be fair, I haven't actually experienced any sort of hunger during this period of, of mini cutting. Not, nothing too crazy, especially in comparison to prep. Now my calories were a lot lower than they were in prep. Um, so not a lot lower, just a little bit lower than they were in prep. And um, the feeling is very, very different. Now obviously I was a lot leaner, my hormones were in the gutter. Um, so hunger was high, food focus is high. Um, but now it's completely different um, because obviously I started off quite fat. It hasn't really been much of a chore. Um, energy, I, I can feel it a little bit with the less food. Again, nothing too drastic. Now, um, in regards to what I do um, in between meals, is it's mainly business. So um, I coach clients. Um, I, I set up clients. Today's been quite a busy day for setting up new clients. Um, and I'm also obviously I, I I get my steps in. I go for walks and get my steps in. And um, if I do have time, usually I'll go for a cheeky nap. That is if I'm not having a particularly busy day. And that's not me procrastinating. That's just me having a nap, ready for my workout, so I can get a nice workout in. So the next meal, it's quite a unique meal. <laughs> You know, some, something out of the ordinary. Chicken and rice. So yeah, just the same as meal two. Yeah, meal two. This is a pre-workout meal though. Um, I've, I used the other half, um, half a pack of rice and um, just pop some chicken in. Um, and yeah, it's a pre-workout meal. So I can't record any of my workouts as of yet because the place that I'm training has asked me not to, which is fair enough during lockdown. Once lockdown's lifted, um, I'll be recording my workouts and stuff like that. I'll be able to, um, wow, the fucking focus is shit. Um, anyway, during my workout, I'll be using amino, um, the amino burst from H muscle, no, hustling labs. <laughs> Um, the melon berry is just fucking amazing, really, really nice. And um, a binet for intra workout. Usually, I would have the intra grow from Hustin Labs as my intra workout, but um, because I'm on diet, I thought I would use a fruit. Kills two birds with one stone. I get I get some fruit out of it, and also um, some carbs out of it as well. I'm back. I'm just trained. All showered up. Um, we're back with a post-workout meal. This is meal five. This is the, also the final meal of the day. Now this meal is so fucking cliche to have, and but I like it. I'm having it because I like it, and it's it's decent. It's effective. So the meal is 100 grams of cocoa pops, and um, with almond milk, and in the shaker, I have two servings of eaten mess. Hustling Labs way, um, and that is, that's what it is, it's, it's very fucking nice, very fucking nice. Um, training was okay, it was actually the first, t first um, training session during this mini cut where I started to drag, 
but it is way, 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 way too fucking easy still. Way too fucking easy. Way too fucking easy. Um, Mal's just chilling. She just had her egg and toast. How's the egg on toast, Mal? It's good. I'm tired now. She's tired. Now she's going. Into hibernation. She's hibernating now. <laughs> Feel better. So, Mole's now gone. She's now deceased. And, oh, she's back. So unnecessary. So unnecessary. Anyway, um, that is, that concludes the full day of eating on my mini cup and a training, um, training day. Um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, this vehicle, <laughs> I was going to say, if you enjoyed this vehicle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <voice> <laughs> edits are going to be made um if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe um and yeah let me know help me out guys let me know what you want to see let me know if you want to see more videos like this let me know if you want to see some other stuff and i'll do it i will do it i'll do it until next time i'll see you later